Welcome back everybody to this failure. Several things were going on, but something kept me detained for the most part. You see, I was on a spiritual roller coaster, a journey of sorts. It all happened a few weeks ago. So hopefully people stop using this as just a prank bro excuse for it does any real damage. Imagine if a Hey family... you skeptic Skeptic Well are you a skeptic trademark seeking knowledge? Yeah. Are you religious? Yeah. Uh, did you know there's a religion based solely on the pursuit of knowledge? Oh really? A uh, do tell stranger in my bedroom. Behold. Scientology has emerged into the 21st century as the fastest growing religious movement on earth. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought Islam was the fastest growing religion. Fake news. Leading Scientology's international congregation is the ecclesiastical leader of the religion, Mr. David Miscavige. Miscavige. Where have I heard that? Before? What's the correct pronunciation? It's cabbage? Miscavige? No, Miscavige. I was a Scientologist for 42 years. Were you raised in it? No, I got my family in in 1970. But I was in the church for 42 years. The last 26 and a half years, I worked at the international base in Hemet, California. I escaped from that base on March 25th, 2012. About a year and a half later, there was a private and guest investigator caught by the name of Dwayne Powell, who was around the corner from my house, looking at a house to buy so he could spy on me from that house. And Nick Pye came out and confronted the guy. So Nick went to the van and opened it up, and in a trunk, there were five license plates from five different states. There were two handguns, a stun gun, two rifles, one fitted up with a silencer, and 2,000 rounds of ammunition. So they arrested the guy. They took him in for interrogation, and then his son came looking for him because his son was a partner in this business. The father's name was Dwayne Powell, and the son was Daniel Powell. So then Daniel, the son, is being interrogated, and he said, they, they followed me to a town called Janesville, Wisconsin, where I went shopping in an Aldi's grocery store. So I come out, and I had bags of grocery, and it was a summertime, so I had a pocket T-shirt on. I bent over to put the groceries in the car. I thought my cell phone was going to fall out. I grabbed my left chest. They're looking at me in the van, which they had been following me in. They saw me. The father called his uh, contact and said, listen, it looks like the target is having a heart attack. What shall we do? They referred to me as the target. So they called. The guy, Greg, said, listen, l let me call you back. A couple minutes later, a guy came on the phone, identified himself as David Miscavige, and he said to them, Listen, if it's his time to die, let him die. Don't do anything. Don't intervene. That's my son. Over the last decade, the Church of Scientology opened dozens of new churches in major cities across the globe. Spurring the church's global expansion, the completion of a monumental project to catalog and certify the religion's scripture. A project spanning three decades and involving millions of hours of work and coordinated by Mr. Miscavige personally. This was carried out under the banner of two projects. First, Golden Age of Knowledge, completed in 2009, capped more than 25 years of research, recovery, restoration, and verification of all manuscripts and recorded lectures from Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. Then, Golden Age of Tech, Phase Two, Another massive project directed by church founder L. Ron Hubbard to ensure the standard application of all Scientology scriptural material. Something a knowledge seeker such as yourself can appreciate. I guess, but other religions tend to take all their collections of texts and put them in a few books. This just seems like a convoluted marketing scam. I assure you that the religion of Scientology is above such material nonsense. Now, are you ready? to accept the burden of the great pursuit of knowledge by pledging yourself to the religion of Scientology. I've about made up my mind. Just one more inquiry, and I'm sure it won't factor in heavily to my decision, but the Scientology thing. Will you get me laid? <laughs> yeah. Great, sign me up. Excellent. Let's see your wallet. Come again? Your wallet. How do you think we put all them books? Let's see here. 
$2. Uh, broken rubber band. <coughs> and a cut up Q-tip. Hmm. I'm afraid I have some bad news. You sit there a little while and think about what you've done. Tonight, no! Gonna have myself oh. God damn it! You know, you know, you know, this, this kind of sucks. Fret not, little one. Salvation has come. What was that? It is I, Lord Xenu, leader of the Galactic Confederacy. I have come to free you and guide you on a quest to destroy the Thetans. Yeah, it sounds pretty lit. Groovy. Wow, thanks, Xenu. I guess this means Scientology's real after all. Shit, nigga. I ain't real. You haven't eaten in like four days. You're hallucinating. Well, then how did I get out of there? Oh, the door was never locked, but you bashed it off the hinges with your forehead. Wait, what? Oh, don't worry about my head. Uh, this isn't common knowledge, but me and uh, Moldy Locks, we share the same rapid regeneration abilities as Wolverine. Anyway, I realized that a lot of people find Scientology laughable and... They're perfectly justified in thinking that. Scientology has a recorded history of abuse, and in my humble opinion, is probably one of the biggest worldwide scams going on right now. From their real estate alone, they have billions, and that tax exemption doesn't hurt either. If you're interested in more info on Scientology, as always, there'll be sources down there. My sweet ass dick. But I'd also recommend the documentary Going Clear from HBO. It's actually really informative, and not that bad on the entertainment either. Well. I'll see you lovely creatures next time, and as always, keep on keeping on. Shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger.